I found this, and then I found that, man. Well, let's keep digging. We're gonna just sort of hang here. I'm in. Come on, it's gonna be fun. Do you know what this movie really brought to the surface I have not thought about in years? Mm. What? When my family bought a house in Los Angeles, we too found a bone oh, in the did. crawl space. Read in the house. Oh, my sorry. dad emerged. I don't even know why he was under there. And he emerged with what I am positive to this day is a femur. That's interesting. Wow. Right? Yeah. To my recollection, there was a shocking lack of controversy about this in my house. Uh-huh. <laughs> like my mom, t she was just like, yeah, that looks human. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and then we never spoke of it again. Really? Wow. Yeah. Until this movie, I hadn't even thought of it. It was wow. such a low-level deal in my house. You'll have to call your family and be like, does anybody remember that? Right. Like, as I'm watching, you know, your character call the cops, right. I was like, oh, my God, they would have judged us openly. Yes. All that stuff at the beginning of this movie happened in real life. Oh, my God. We were in, my wife and I were living in Los Angeles, and we we were digging in our backyard, and I found a bone that I didn't know what it was. Okay. But it was shady enough that could have been anything. Yeah. And I found like marbles and a rusted gun that could have been a kid's gun, and I found license plates and I found bags of plastic bags with like chopped up bones and garbage and in it. God. And so I called the LAPD because my wife and I had that same moment. We we're like, well, what do we do? And we're like, I don't know. It's a defining moment for a couple. Yes. Yeah. And so we decided to call the police. And so we did, thinking they were going to come, check it out. It was, you know, out of our hands. Yeah. And they said, so you found a gun that could have been a kid's gun that's been rusted. It must have been 40 years old. Bones that could be an animal's bone. They go, what do you want us to do? They go, it's not our job to dig out another person's garbage. I can't believe that's real. Because yeah. I, when I'm watching the movie, I was like, that that ki that has to be movie magic. No. Yeah, yeah. That was Jeez. real. But you also got to think, how many times do they get that call and it's just garbage? <laughs> yeah. They're like, we are trying to police a major American city. You have like you burger. You have a coyote bone yeah. in your yard. Congratulations, yeah. you have Burger King wrappers and coyote bones. <laughs> yeah. Stop calling us. Yeah. And wait, are you on the new girl? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's right. What do you suspect has to be buried on your property then? There has to be something. Well, here's the thing. There, this, there's stuff buried everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And there's stuff. I'm always disappointed. Like when we did a remodel on our house, I, sh I was sure we were going to find like a bag of money and a map. You yeah. know what I mean? Or something. And you just, Goonies, and you just don't. Too. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think this was like really fertile ground for a movie. Right. It is like our, you know, it's like our childhood yeah. imaginations, our actor imaginations. For sure. And then these guys took a step further, I think, as Joe always does, and says, What's going on in my life? What am I grappling with right now? I've got a four-year-old. I got a kid on the way. Oh, you lose the connection a little bit with your yeah. partner, and then all of a sudden we're, we're like, we have a movie here. Well, and the best part about this movie for me is that is actively figuring out what it was saying and yeah, yeah. what we're That's really right. talking about because I know that it's not just those these bones in a stranger's backyard. Right. Yeah. And so for people watching the film who think that digging for fire is just like, oh man, it's crazy. They go on this adventure to find out a dead body. That's not it at all. Right. No. Can you tell them instead, like what to you is the symbolism of this film without giving anything away? It's a little bit like you can't go back, right? You yeah. know, there's a lot of, okay, can we go back and be the best versions of ourselves, which uh, we usually feel like happened when we were like, when we peaked, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. 24 or something. And you feel like there's a lot to love about your life now, but you're a little tired, you're a little bored, it gets a little stale. And so you try on these old clothes, you know, and these old ideas, and then maybe you decide to bury them in the backyard and move forward with your life. It's great. Interesting. That's a really good way of putting it because it makes me think about a time in my life where maybe I've hit the reset. Right. Yeah. Like right. these characters do. Yeah. And you kind of have to go on that crazy journey. It's like this is almost like a one crazy weekend. That's right. Yeah. Kind it's a one thing. crazy weekend that's not a big studio movie. It's a one crazy weekend. That's not like weekend at Bernie's. It's not like, <laughs> it, but it's not like the it's not like there's a tiger in a hotel room on this weekend. It's right. like it's a crazy weekend for a married couple who have full-time jobs and a kid. But for them, this well, is a crazy huge weekend. Well, a weekend that could really yeah. happen. That could really happen. Totally. Yeah. And it was weirdly satisfying to see Orlando Bloom get popped. 
That was just <laughs> nice to know that he is a physical human being right. that like yeah. has to sometimes he, go to the emergency room. Right. Yeah, he yeah, kills yeah. it in this movie. Or Anna Kendrick. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Details. Yeah. yeah. But he, he came in, so everybody else in this movie was somebody you would kind of expect to see in, a, in an indie like this. And it was favors and everybody called in a friend. But Orlando was the wild card, and I think he really just does an excellent. He was job. so good at this in this medium that, if anything, I felt felt like Joe had to be like, "We can't use all that stuff because Ooh. this is the couple right. that we're right. rooting for." You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So I hope he and Joe go make another movie right, totally. where he can, you know, do even more because things got really vulnerable with yeah. you guys yeah. to the point where I was like. Oh, oh, like it took the wind out almost where I was like, ooh, well, that's what's important for a lady to have that moment. Yeah. <laughs> I like that everybody understands that. Um, I think, too, it was really important, too, that their stories, Lee and Tim's stories, weren't exactly parallel. Yeah. So when, like, the fire would sort of start to flame out over here, it might still be raging over here, and the yeah. audience wasn't quite sure how it was going to go down. There's an element of danger, mm -hmm. I think, on both stories.